Hello everyone. So in the last videos we learned how to perform all the functions of home tab, insert tab and page layout tab. So in this video we are going to learn how to use all these functions of the references tab. So let's get started. My name is Samian Savant and welcome to Randomisia. Alright, so first of all we'll go to table of contents. See this. Once you open this you will get various options and see here they have given a preview of what will appear on the screen so first of all we will select the first one see all these contents see first of all we will got this we have got this then we have got the problem definition then content and so on and same appears here now if you want to use this function just press control and select any one topic let's take implementation We'll go on implementation. Get it? You can see all these things. We'll just go back again. Now this is the table of contents, right? You can also increase its size. Go here. Take any size you want. Let's take 14 for now. It's visible, right? I'll just go back here. Done. So this is the table of contents. Now update toc which is update table of contents now if you make any changes to the table of contents let's say we'll create a few sections let's create a section here section enter hmm. one more section create here section two enter let's name this section one done now we have created two sections now we'll go to home We'll select this part, we'll take heading 2 and we'll just change the font to Calibri. Hmm. One section done, same we'll do for the next section, go to heading 2, change it to Calibri. Then now two sections are created. Now we'll go up here, we'll select this. And we'll go to references and update table of content. See the two sections got added here. And we'll just press OK. Section 1, section 2 is back. So again we'll have to change the size because whenever you refresh it, it goes to the default size. So we'll select 14 for now. Done. The two sections are here. Now next thing is insert footnote. We'll just go down here. Uh, Alright, so footnote. What is a footnote? Basically, if you have written any short forms in any of your paragraphs, you can just select the particular short form and write a footnote on the bottom of the page and specify what the short form means. For example, let's go to the code here. Alright, now see int. What does int mean? Integer. So I'll just select it. Huh. I'll select insert footnote so here it's int and here we'll specify what int means it is integer then just select anywhere and see the footnote gets created now whenever you go here see the one number here appears it will show it here get it now that's how you can create a footnote now previous footnote and next footnote see in case you have created two to three footnotes all right, let's take this plus plus means increment, right? So I'll just insert a footnote increment operation. Done. Increment operation, we have created a footnote. Now, if I go here and I select next footnote, all right, it will come to the next footnote. If I select previous, see previous footnote, ready? So you can just play with this thing if you've got many other footnotes, two to three footnotes. You can just switch from one footnote to another footnote by using these functions. Done. Now once footnote is done, see this end note. Now the difference between footnote and end note is that footnote will appear at the end of that particular page and end note will get applied at the last page of the whole document. It will appear here. All right. So let's say I am on some random page all right 
and if I select insert end note see it automatically comes to the end of the document and here you can write anything like you can write the reference says and you can just paste any website here like www.google.com and other websites through which you have taken the data and created the document so this is endnote get it now once we are done with endnote you can also play with this thing you can create many more endnotes two to three endnotes like um, tab i'll just write anything you can write whatever data you want i'll just go inserting home tab insert tab then now once i'm on this end note i can just play with this thing second next previous previous these two functions are not that useful because all the end notes appear at the same place at the end of the document but still you can use these functions here it now once we are done with the footnote uh, previous and next we'll go to this footnote and end note separator now let's say i've got this thing all right now let's select this and i'll just create a footnote all right and i'll just write something here all right a b c now this is a footnote now i disable this you won't understand if this is a footnote or end note so i'll just select this so these two are separators now where the document ended this is the end note and on the bottom of the page this is the footnote so this will separate both of them it will show a line get it now next thing caption now captions are usually used for images or figures all right let's take this image all right i'll go to references i'll go to caption now see this thing label now there are fixed labels see all these options these two have added just ignore them these four are the default options so you can just select image or figure as this is an image i'll just select image all right position you have to select it whether it should be above or below the image the caption all right we'll just select below selected item now numbering see this one this will show uh, the number of images like if this is the first image if this is the second image third image and so on it will automatically update when you will select the next image so you can select the format for numbering see any of these i'll just select this you can also include the chapter number all right any heading get it for now we won't select this we'll just select okay all right we'll just type here this thing one here one wins we'll just hit okay see caption appears player one wins now if i select this and if i go to caption see the number will get automatically updated get it same thing we'll do player two wins okay caption comes here so these spaces i have given that's why it will appear like this hmm? same goes for this just go back hmm? then again we'll apply a caption to this one see automatically updated match yes. draw same will apply for this image we'll just go to references caption see the number gets updated and we'll write it is a draw then okay see all these three captions got applied we'll just change this to calibri then see captions are applied now all these are applied now you can also create a table of the figures which you have kept in the document now see three figures we have created we'll just go up here see table of contents now here we'll insert table of figures all right so we have selected image right so select image here this is the preview and we'll just hit okay see it got created 
now same goes here press control click here you will go to the image get it if you want to go to the second image click here and go to the second image so this is how you can create a index of the figures you have drawn all right i'll just write here figures then now next thing mark entry now in mark entry i just want this particular part i want to remember this part all right so i'll just select mark entry into main and i'll select mark all right the entry has been marked now if you want the index to appear you'll just go up here select this and we'll select insert index and just hit okay see it appears here so it will just show where this particular thing is so this is on page number five we'll go to page number one two three four five and see in main is here similarly you can select various other things like i'll just select this particular part i'll select mark entry i'll hit mark and i'll hit close done i'll go up here i'll just select this and i'll just update index see it got updated so that is how you can use mark entry so that you can remember particular parts and on which page they are get it so this is how you can use the most common functions of references tab so if you like the video please like it and share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel for more content and thank you for watching bye bye